Simon, latest addition to your squad, Corey Aston signs for 2022. You must be delighted to have another halfback in the midst of your squad. Yeah, definitely. Corey's been a, a very good championship player and he's dipped his toe in that Super League environment as well and you know, really done a good job when he was up there. Um, yeah, he comes to us after a bit of a stuttery year with, with London, a couple of injuries and, and obviously a difficult year in the capital for that team in general. But yeah, he comes in, he's going to add some real quality to our team. He's got some experience, as I said, debuting really young with, with Sheffield. Um, and he's, you know, he's a game management type of player, which... I'll be honest, I think it's something we lacked in 2021 at times. Uh, I thought Scott did a good job coming up from full back there, but you know he's a natural half-back. He's got a lot of time in that position and, and he's still only relatively young as well. At 26, he's got a lot of time in front of him as well. So, you know, really happy to have got him over the line and happy to work with him and see if we can't kick him onto another level as well. And he comes, obviously, from a really good rugby league bloodline with his dad obviously being uh, the man that he is. Did you have a word with Tubbs at all uh, when deciding to make this signing? No, no. Um, as with every player, we do his own work. So, good conversation with Danny Ward about Cora, you know, amongst other players that have played with him or coached him. Uh, just because, obviously, if, you, if you're going to sign a player based on one performance, you might have played him or, you know, just a bit of footage here and there. It didn't really give you the true picture. Because, obviously, we're after talented rugby players, but we want good people as well that, that fit with and complement our group. And, again, on both sides of it as well, on the field, off the field. And, and he ticks those boxes. He's coming hungry, wants to improve, wants to, wants to better himself. And, you know, I think that again, that really fits in line with where we're at as a club. We're trying to, we've changed a lot of changes as it has happened as a consequence of wanting to get better, wanting to improve. And you know, a finish of third this year in this previous year just gone where it's been a good year, but it's a start point for us. We want to be a consistent top end team, and I think Corey's really going to add to that. And how would you describe his skill set? What are his main strengths that he's going to bring to this team for 2022? I think he's a good runner, good runner of the ball. Um, but really good organiser as well. Um, can sort of push his team around. And he knows how to pick a short side. And just some of the areas I think we've lacked in. I think Corey's gonna he's gonna add to us and and sort of fill in them gaps. And he'll complement the other halves and full backs. You know that that spine people talk about. It, he'll really complement that area for us. And it's obviously exciting times to be a Fax fan. The latest signing. Uh, plenty more to look forward to in the coming weeks as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think an old coach of mine, Tony. Uh, Tony Smith there, uh, he had the magic number of the incoming and, out, incoming and outgoing. Magic number was three. Well, after last year where we had a lot of change, I did, probably didn't anticipate quite as much change this year. Um, but between the retirements and, you know, and just the normal stuff of people coming and going, it's going to end up being quite a bit more. But I'm excited by that. We've gone out with enough time to get the people we want. And, and also it helps when you're up the table. It's probably a bit more appealing to teams as well. So yeah, I think we've made... Good additions and obviously everyone's going to find out about that soon.